is uh, Shatawale and Stoneboy Brawl, the brawl which uh, actually uh, uh, marked the 20th edition of the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. Uh, the 20th edition and uh, following from that a decision has been made by the board to ban the two artists the two arch rivals actually indefinitely from the show also the special prosecutor is beginning to prosecute <coughs> and he has started by hauling uh, Mahama Yariga the Boko Central MP to court over tax evasion charges also uh, this week uh, Manya Krobo residents clashed with police and PDS and when PDS went into the community to retrieve or collect debt owed uh, by the residents. It resulted in one person dying and uh, following uh, from that incident and the violence that erupted, the PRC and the PDS and uh, the MP as well as uh, opinion leaders met and there being a 12-point uh, roadmap to restore peace to the community. So this morning I have with me, uh, quickly introduce uh, my guest uh, to my very extreme left. I have Francis Doku. Francis is general manager, MG Digital and Radio here. He's also a board member of the VGMA. And then I have um, uh, Bernard Oredu next to him. He's a legal practitioner. And then on my, my right, I have um, Arnold Asamoa Beidou, who is an entertainment analyst. And I have uh, Nia Ite Hammond. Nia Ite Hammond is, uh, is a board member of VGMA as well. I'm Stephen Enti, and uh, let's uh, quickly start. Let me start with you. Um, Francis, I like starting with you. <laughs> the, before the announcement by the VGMA to place an indefinite ban on Shatawale and Stoneboy, Shatawale himself had gone on uh, social media to uh, say that he was pulling out of all the events, uh, which I, I feel that was a way of dampening the effect that the, uh, the VGMA board announcement will have on him but looking at all that have happened do you get the sense that this is not too harsh Sarkodie believes that this is too harsh isn't it well thank you uh, Steve I I think that um, a lot of people put a huge premium and if you like capital on the Vodafone Ghana Music Awards many musicians look towards it every year that okay for all that we've gained in music people enjoying our music, making money from it and all that. There's one night on which the entire industry comes together to honor us. And, and that's to, the VGMA. You know, and that's the VGMA. And so in the view of the board and many, I believe, um, Ghanaians and people within the industry, if these two people have, you know, um, whether intentional or not, uh, brought the name of the of the of the scheme that many look forward to into such a disrepute, then there's a need to not just look on, you know. Um, there's a need to make take some action so the two will realize what they've done, and then also maybe serve as deterrent to other people. So, from that point, and I believe that the board, having discussed all this and have conversations and discussions with stakeholders, felt this was adequate enough you know punishment for what happened. I know as a board member you wouldn't you wouldn't ever tell me that uh, you feel that this is harsh or punitive enough all all of that but can you guess that can you tell me whether in the board's view this is it this was a uh, appropriate punishment or you would say you went overboard a little bit too harsh uh, but no I think that we we had enough time I mean you would you, you'd, uh, note that the announcement was made on Thursday uh, this happened in the early hours on uh, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. And so a lot of, you know, discussions have been had. We looked at all the possible, you know, issues and discussed all manner of, you know, possible uh, punitive measures and arrived at this. Um, so in the view of the board, this is adequate. And so as a member of the board, and I stand by the decision that the board made, I think that this is okay. Now, after... You know, the, the announcement was made. There have been different views from different people who felt that um, it was a bit harsh. Unfortunately, people saying that haven't suggested any other way by which this can be done. We felt that to send a message out in the manner uh, of what happened and for the two gentlemen to recognize, mm. regardless of what's happening in the court, I mean, that's a different yeah. issue happening, and uh, which I, I believe we'll talk about a lawyer is here to advise mm -hmm. also on. The scheme itself need to let the public know and the two gentlemen also be aware that they cannot um, 
bring something that people have in invested so much into for a long time, 20 years to into such a uh, distribution. Mm -hmm. So again, I, 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 I think that what decision the board took was adequate enough for what happened on the night. And Arnold, uh, do, you, do you share his view that the decision is adequate enough? I saw you reading some terms and conditions. No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I mean, I'm still, I mean um, it, it was expected that the two guys would, would face some, some level of sanctions. I mean, the rules are clear that if you're an artist or you are related to the awards in any way and then you plunge the awards in some, some form of chaos or, or mayhem, you would be sanctioned. Yes, so it was expected that the two guys would face some sanctions. But for me, I think the sorts of sanction, um, the kind of sanction uh, as, as, as meted out to these guys, for me, I think it's, 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 it's too extreme. Oh, oh, it's, it's, too extreme? it's harsh. Mm, it's harsh. harsh. It's severe. Right. So yes. I'm going to task yeah. you to tell me what alternative yes. you think the VGMA board could have put in place. Because like Francis yeah. said, mm -hmm. those who are suggesting that this punishment is too harsh mm -hmm. are not bringing forward any alternatives. Yeah, we are. Then my brother is not listening hard enough. Because some of us who are really agitating over, over the outcome or over the decision, we've, we've been suggesting ways the board could have gone with regards to the sanctions. So probably he should, you know, he has big years. So tell me should, uh, should. some of the ways you think the board I could mean, have uh, softened the impact of this. You see, the issue is the ban was expected. Mm. However, we expected a duration or a time frame to the ban. For example, I mean, indefinite for me, I think it's... Come again. I'm saying it's indefinite, so probably they can oh, call we, in tomorrow. Boss, you're a lawyer, so it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. You can, you can spend it in your own language. But we, 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 we do not understand the indefinite. The indefinite, we, for us, it means you are saying tomorrow. But clearly, there's, there's been a precedent. You understand. We also have gone through processes where indefinite ban have been leveled at individuals. We know how it goes. So if you want to put the English spin or the English language spin there, then even today they can, they can revert and say, exactly. But we are not looking at it at, it at that point. You see, who are we? Oh, followers of the awards, <laughs> <laughs> stakeholders. <laughs> you get like it. fans, like, like fans as well. Parties. You understand? Yeah. Mm. So for me, I felt the ban, yes, but the extent which the ban was leveled for me, I think was 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 excessive because, boss, if you look at the terms and, terms and condition, I mean that the the I don't know the, the the word to use for it, but the statement that was used to to ban, for me, I think it's it's lacks clarity, specification, and like explanation. Because you leave it blank. And I was thinking, that's a problem with, with the VGMA and its board. Because if you have, you have a system, you have a structure where you have punitive measures, there should be some level of clarity. For example, if you, do this, this, if you go through this misdemeanor, this is a punitive measure you'd get. Whether it's a number of days, you, you understand what I'm saying? The, 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 the action and its punitive measures. Now, the explanations we've heard from the yes. VGMA suggest that it was necessary to simplify the language and text because of the kind of uh, clientele they have, musicians and their fans. They don't have too much time to read. Uh, no, but huge, that's that's that's. Uh, Steve, over, but that's the problem because the, the the awards is 20 years. You understand, and it's about time that we we improve upon its its procedures and its systems. For, so if you tell me that they did not have the, that time. To actually sit and go through because this is a critical decision mm. that may affect the two artists and, and, and their respective careers. Yeah. And so I mean time you need time. You know, you need a lot of, of consultation, you understand, to come to this decision. Because it's a very critical one. Mm. And so if you tell me that, oh, because there's no time, I will not buy it. Because it's been 20 years. I mean, we all watch football. Yeah. I mean, just forgive my comparison, but even in the in, in England. The FA have, 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 have rules and rules, regulations. Yeah. They have punitive measures to whatever misdemeanor or whatever actions. They stick, by, they stick, they by, stick by it. And, they, and, and there and are no instances where people raise doubts and questions about because, clarity be, issues. Yes, because, because, because there's, 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 an, there's some level of understanding with the rules that if you do this, this is a number of days you would, you, you would face. If you do this, this is the fine you would get. You understand? So I do not need to go and ask the board or come and argue with you as to why did you give this punitive measure to this action? Because on paper, they, they, there's clarity to, to, to the actions, you understand? So for me, that's the problem. And precedence tells us that, okay, so in 2014, you banned the same Shatawali for a certain action, probably going out there and denigrating the board and its yeah. members and all. And bringing the scheme into, into some distribute. level of dispute. What, what punishment was meted out to him? Indefinite ban, you understand? So the precedence is there. So if two other artists have, you know, again, done virtually the same thing, the punishment is different. So if I sit here, I'm like, okay, so on what basis 
did you level that le kind of punishment to Shatawali in 2014? And under what basis are you leveling this kind of punishment to these artists? Again, if you consider the actions of Stonewall and Shatawali, two different actions, but the same results. So clearly, you know, the rules, the, 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 the terms and conditions and the code of conduct lack, lack some, some level of clarity. Mr. Redu, uh, you, you, I, I've noticed that you wanted to make a comment yes, on uh, someone's references to rules, yes, etc. Yes, I was of the view that, you see, the organizers have this question. Yeah. You talk about um, rules and regulations mm -hmm. concerning this whole program. I think it's the first time somebody tried to go on stage and probably do whatever Shatawala and Stoneboy had in this scheme, in this yes. scheme yeah. So probably, and point again, and, yeah, point. they never anticipated such things, but we all learned. So going forward, they know some of these things could happen, mm -hmm. but every organizer has this question. Okay. I am the organizer. If I tell you that, okay, because of A, B, and C, I'm not going to let you be part of my uh, program again. I have the right to do so. But you see, my issue and where I side with you is, they don't have specific, clear, defined rules. So for instance, if they had probably come out with the rules governing this whole scheme, I would have known that, okay, if such a decision is taken, this is my appellate procedure, this is the appellate avenue. Because now that the decision has been taken, we don't know the next level for the two artists. Mm. Can, for it, whether they can whether appeal, they can even or, appeal or, or probably seek further redress as to their current circumstances. So what I would advise and where I, I will go with them is that in, in, it's, it's such a big event, and it's for 20 years. So at least come with specific rules, come with specific regulations, that these are the rules binding, these are the regulations. If you do A, B, and C, this is what's going to happen to you. If you are agreed by the decision of the board, this is the next level for you. Because you see, for rules and regulations, one very important aspect is clarity, and letting the person know that I am going through this particular situation because of A, B, and C. If the person knows that, at least uh, he, is, he has a foreknowledge of what could befall him if he should go contrary to whatever provisions have been made. So my issue with the, 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 the use of their discretion as organizers is that at least in their decision, they could have said that, okay, if Stoneboy, Shutter are grieved by such decision, this is what they could do. This, these are the procedures they could follow. Because once you are banning somebody, you have used your discretion. And you see, the Constitution, and joins on everybody who has to use this question. It's, it's supposed to be candid. You don't, you're supposed to use it fair. So I am of the view that once they have taken the decision to ban them, they should have given them some opportunity, an appellate opportunity, or at least a, 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 a window of escape or something. Because you see, for me, I, I, I love music. I follow the two artists. I do I, also. Yes, I, I, I do. And I think everybody does. Yes, and for me, when the issue happened, I said to myself, okay, this is a big opportunity for Chatter House to bring Stoneboy and Chatterwally together. Because, you see, everybody is expecting that, hey, hey, hey. Then you call them and tell them that, because truth to tell, these two artists have really pushed Ghana music. I mean, they've really pushed Ghana music. Sometimes you don't need to treat people just as they deserve. But you need to be a bit uh, 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 soft because of certain circumstances. Because that is why we even say in law, you temper justice with mercy sometimes. So I am of the view, to the extent that Stoneboy and Shatawale are lost as to their next level when it comes to these sanctions, I think Shatterhouse should come again. Shatterhouse should yes. come again. So let me hear from you, uh, Niaite Hamon. Uh, I, I make reference to his last statement, Shatterhouse should come again against the fact that somebody like Sarkozy and a lot of the other artists have been suggesting that uh, the artists should not be the only ones taking blame for this. Chatterhouse should also be taking some some blame. Are you uh, is Chatterhouse ever going to take some responsibility for the lapses of the night, especially in terms of uh, arrangements put in place for crowd management and how to organize the funds, how they sit, sit and all all of that um, thank you um, before before I, I go to that you know that the, the a lawyer friend said that there must be some window to escape escape where 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 do they want to escape to there's nowhere to escape to you know you must be strict and straight to the point I not spoke a lot of English which was very good <laughs> but the reality is that the board has a discretion, and the board applies the discretion as and when it deems fit. And it looks at the gravity of the situation to apply. And so there, there's no need, I mean, this is not a soccer 
uh, uh, activity where you say that if you do A, then B happens. If you do B, then C happens. No. What, what if even that is put there and now there's another activity that happens that nobody has foreseen, but the board will still have to take a decision on it. You understand me? So even if they are set to rules and somebody does something which is not registered in the set rules, you must still act. Mm -hmm. You understand me? As, as Charter, uh, Charter House, obviously, we invited people there. There was a breach of security. You cannot and say... And you couldn't, you couldn't you, anticipate that breach? You know... You didn't make prior arrangements for a possible breach of security? You know, prior to 9-11... <laughs> There was tight security in the United States, but 9-11 happened. You understand me? And after 9-11 happened, they put in security measures at airports, etc. Tight ones, everybody believed so. But still, people put bombs in their shoes and entered and bombed the plane. And what happened next? Now when you're going to the airport, you take off your shoes before you... You know, so... You cannot anticipate everything. You can put all the knowledge you have in terms of one thing in place, but anything can happen. And when it happens, you look at that to improve on what you, you, you knew before. And so, yes, as much as we put a tight security, as far as we were concerned in place, Obviously, events of the night shows that there was breaches. So, you, we, so, so we you, cannot, we you, cannot you won't say, admit that you failed? Oh, I mean, Charter House failed. How can, how can you admit failure? It is not failure. Breaches does not mean failure. You understand me? You, you, you cannot, for example, right now, um, we are here in TV3. What if I came here with a gun? I wasn't uh, metal checked in your place. I come here and I shoot or not. Would you say you failed? You've put some security measures in place, and you expect that it would help. But when something happens, you see that, OK, I accept the fact that once I bring people there, and this has happened, I accept some liability, yes. But it doesn't mean that you failed. It just means you have to improve on what you're doing. That's a different thing. If we didn't put any security measures in at place all, at all then you could then say you, you could failed. say you could say something like that but but not in in, in such a situation right uh, let me come to you again uh, francis uh, i know that at the, at the heart of this has been the key question of artist management do you get the sense that perhaps if uh, the two artists had the managers who uh, were proactive this wouldn't have happened well i think that's that's a question that, that will be out there for, for anybody to answer. But the point is that uh, we have known that in this country, sometimes the artists are stronger than even their managers. <laughs> um, many artist managers, I mean, we say, just sometimes run errands for the artists. Yeah. Um, there are many artists also who listen to what their managers say. And, but but, but uh, one of them passed on the pistol to Stoneboy. <laughs> We don't know who passed it on to him. Uh, I mean, I think the investigations would reveal Worthy. exactly who mm -hmm. did, but somebody might have. We don't know if it's the manager. Um, uh, and so, and if whoever did was, in my view, maybe looking for the interest of him. Uh, of course, it's wrong what he did, but he was perhaps looking for his interest. But just for on the basis of the question whether artist managers failed us, I don't think that can be laid at the doorstep of just artist managers because. What happened was in a very confused state, you know. Frenzy. There was a kind of a frenzy uh, sort of a pandemonium, you know, happening. And in that particular situation, it would be too difficult for an artist manager to do anything. Does the VGMA feel embarrassed by this? No, no, of course. I mean, I think even the whole country should be embarrassed um, because this story was on BBC, the Daily Mail, across the international news, you know, channels. So, yes, the VGMA board you know, felt very embarrassed by what happened because, first of all, you have a, an auditorium where you've invited about 4,000 people uh, all seated together and had come, paid, some have yeah. paid, some spent their time to come and watch, you know, an entertainment. You have 
millions of people watching on TV3, TV, television, um, right. watching on our social media platforms, watching on DSTV across the, uh, the continent and many other places as well. So yes, there was a big embarrassment because you, you just felt that, look, let's have a, a show for two, three hours, four hours maximum, let people come and sing some dance, let people enjoy themselves and go, and then this happened. It was very embarrassing. Uh, to say the least. So, so I know that at the heart of all of this, I was speaking about artist management and the role Charterhouse could have played in that. Now, VGMA has instituted sanctions. What are your expectations uh, moving forward? I mean, for example, are you expecting that uh, at the 21st, VGMA, Chatawale and Stoneboy won't be there or you would put in uh, good measures to ensure that what happened didn't happen and you will invite them? What's the, what's the anticipation moving forward? I think the, the, the statement that that was uh, uh, read at the at the press conference during the announcement of the was to say that they will not be involved in uh, nomination participation and maybe even you know, to be voted for or performance for an indefinite for, period for we, performances we as well indefinitely but of course it's a public show if if the announcement is made and they buy a ticket and and they want to attend i don't think anybody will stop them from doing that but in in regards to taking part in the in the vgma that is what the board, which has you know a responsibility to protect the brand, have made. And as 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 was explained by by Mr. Lawyer, that the, the fact that the board said indefinite means that there could be a road you know out of that. It is possible that between now and the next one, things could have happened that would change that decision for. I mean, I'm not wishing that this could happen, but yeah. what if the two artists go to jail? <laughs> Well, uh, I think that that's, <laughs> that has nothing to do with the decision of the board. As I as mentioned earlier, there are two things that happened this week. One was that the board met and decided that let's put some punitive measures to what happened on the night. The other one was that the two gentlemen were invited by the police, and out of that they were arraigned before court, and the court has gr granted them uh, to reappear you know, in a month's time. That is different from that. So whatever happens with that, has absolutely nothing to do, to with, do the with the decision of the, the board. VGMA so writer. it could happen, but well, that's in the bosom of right, whichever uh, so, judge. Um, Zadoku, uh, thank you. Uh, so uh, we'll be coming to Bernard Redu to uh, look at the legal legalities, uh, the public order acts, uh, where the two artists might have gone wrong. I know the issue is in court, so we can't do too much of uh, detailed discussions of that. But we'll find out uh, whether they really add and what the severity is and whether they could go to jail or not. And uh, we have been also gauging public reaction on this uh, we want to show you just that and we'll come back to the studio for four more yeah to my view is fair because as public figure you shouldn't do certain things and then there we are a nation that we are now coming up so other children are looking up to them so there's a, a, an emergency on them to put up a right behavior the industry is bigger than these two people but it's just at this moment they have the privilege to be raining a bus of fans are in Ghana, GH, you know, about the music, you know, Stoneboy, Shatawale, Sakodie, I'm going to go to Ghana. In case there's a mono, I'm going to go to Ghana. 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 It's normal because. You know, you can't just cause chaos and go scot-free like that. You have to be punished, definitely. And them being banished from the VGMA for some years is normal. After all, some are going to benefit from it, some are going to lose. So you had those views there. Let's uh, get back to the studio very quickly. Uh, Mr. Uh, Bernard Redu, I was asking whether Stoneboy or Shatawale could go to jail in simple terms. Yes, they, they could go to jail. I mean, if, if you take Stoneboy's issue, for instance, he's been charged with offensive conduct and uh, displaying of um, weapon in the public place. If you look at displaying of weapon in the public place, it carries a maximum sentence of five years, or probably he could be fined for 1,000 penalty units, which is wow. around... 12,000 Ghana cities. I need to uh, explain to people here because uh, there's this notion going around about carrying of gun and display of gun. You see, the laws are very clear. It is a display of guns and not carrying of gun. So even if they had found a gun on Stoneboy 
without a display in the public mm -hmm. domain or that particular garden, it wasn't an what, 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 what difference does it make? I mean, if you are, you are registered to carry yes. a firearm yeah. and you keep it at your back pocket yes. and you are not displaying it yes. as opposed to something happening and you feel threatened and yes. you, you, you make an effort to maybe use it by displaying it. Uh, you, you see, if you have a license to carry, that's, that's my question. But laws are made with some incidents in mind. So for instance, why the laws will say that don't display a gun when there's a public gathering is that you don't know the reaction of the individuals there. Probably somebody might see a gun and react in a certain manner that will affect almost everybody there. Somebody so, might just see a gun and shoot and you because, of, they because are thinking you are, that, yes, that is why to shoot them. The laws are very clear that when you are with the public, when you are at a public place, don't display a gun because people mm. react differently. But it's not about just carrying it. If let's say the guy who gave it to Stombo allegedly had just, he had been found with a gun, registered, and he was licensed to carry a gun, that in itself would not have been an offense because he didn't display it for the public viewing. Okay, what Stoneboy did, as he has been charged, he's going to plead guilty, uh, not guilty. So it means he would have to go into the whole issue and see whether he's guilty or not. If he's found guilty, he could be given custodial sentence, depending on the discretion of the judge, once again. Mm. He could also be fined and probably made to pay some monies. Shatter has been charged with a misdemeanor. For him, it is very likely that he may not have custodial sentence. When we say custodial sentence, where you go to jail, mm. because it's a misdemeanor, you could be cautioned, you could be made to pay a fine, or you could also go to jail for a minimum of, uh, a maximum of three years. Mm. But it is usually very much unlikely for judges to sentence people for causing misdemeanors or when they commit crimes. So which at, at what point uh, do we say that uh, they have a criminal record, I mean the record which will stick and will be popping up everywhere you go? Once you're convicted, even if you're not sentenced, once the government falls, uh, falls and says that A, B, and C, you are found guilty of committing this particular offense, you are a convict. If you are not sentenced, it doesn't mean you are not a convict. So they become convicts for causing that particular... Interesting. Uh, so uh, this is a serious matter. Especially with I mean, Stoneboy's I'm, I'm asking this question in, in relation to the decision that has been taken by the VGMA board to ban the two artists. So let's say if uh, these are all going concurrently, are they facing a criminal prosecutions mm -hmm. and then VGMA has taken an action and they end up in jail, that will be a double uh, jeopardy on that? No, no, no. I mean, the court processes are different from the internal management aspect of um, VGMA. What they have done is to go by their internal directives and ban them. That is very much different from the court processes going on and it won't be double jeopardy. Double jeopardy would have been probably being tried by the uh, a separate body. Mm. But now that only one criminal prosecution is going on for the act committed by the two, then internal management decisions by VGME or Charterhouse will not be seen as jeopardy. Right. Yeah. Uh, Arnold, uh, the fact that they could go to jail, does that surprise you? No, of no, course. I mean, it's a legal issue. It's you a legal issue. And, 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 and for us in, in the industry, it will serve as a deterrent to all others as well. Oh, so you have nothing, you have nothing no, wrong against it's, them it's, going it's to important. jail. No, mm. it's important that we let our laws, you know, suffice. They should be shoved into the cooler so that they learn oh, lessons. Oh, if, if the law courts deem it fit, that, that is what should be done to them. I mean, I, we, some of us, we do not have a problem. Yeah. I mean, it it's, 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 it's it's matters to do with the law. And it's about time that we test the law, especially for the entertainment industry. Mm. Most often than not, Issues come up, uh, people talk about, oh, I'll sue you, I'll take you to court, I'll, I'll get you a lawsuit. We do nothing about it. So for the first time, we, we, we are about to have a test case scenario where in future, who will use it as an example. And, 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 and do well in the industry. Mm, I know but, that yeah. th this will also act as a deterrent to others who might feel yes, to misconduct regards, themselves Yes, with regards to the law, way. with regards to the law, I have no problem. My, my, my core issue has to do with the VGMA board. Steve, I mean, you see, we have three problems. Shatawali Stumbo and the VGMA board. Why? Yes. Because, lawyer, I mean, this morning, in a couple of minutes, we've explained and we've talked about the fact that there are terms and conditions and rules. There's, there's some loopholes in there. You confirmed it. You are a new trapist. But see the pusher of my boss here, VGMA board member, that he feels there's nothing wrong with the rules and regulations and, and that is discretion. What's in? Even if you will not consider my, my own, because I'm, I'm, I'm a familiar face. The lawyer is a neutral person. He's telling you that 
the, the terms and conditions must be worked on. But here you are telling us there's, no, there's nothing wrong with it. That's the, you see, that's our problem. 20 years, are one of our major problems has, has been with, to, to do with the board. They, they assume and they exert so much power. Sometimes it busts my mind. <laughs> Seriously. You understand? Meanwhile, meanwhile, we have, we have stakeholders in these award scheme. How can a board assume such powers when, when we have, it's a public domain award? I do not get it. But what is the representation of the board? I'm sure other... Big man, 30%. Sure. Uh, with, regards to, with regards to some decision making, and this time I'm talking about voting. No, I was asking about representation. representation oh, and the board. Uh, okay, yes, 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 yes. He, he needs to clarify. Oh, clarify it. So the board is made up of 15 people. Mm -hmm. um, four of the people come from Chatterhouse. The rest are across the, the industry, from media to musica. Musica has a two representation of the board. So it's a cut across the spectrum of the industry. So. Just to clarify that, it's a very representative board of the industry. So I'm not going to continue. No. I can continue? Yes. OK. Big man, lawyer, you can, you can help here. <laughs> Is it possible that in a company where somebody has 40% shares, 30% shares, and another has 30% shares, can the, that one with 30% take decisions for, for the company? It depends. If, yeah, it depends if voting on rights are not tied mm -hmm. to shareholding, and okay. everybody wants you are. I like the back. I like the legal expression. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very yeah, important it's because these people they, they, they think they are too powerful. There are some companies, <laughs> but, they, but they are powerful. <laughs> Why should they be powerful? <laughs> you see, if if they are if the voting rights are not tied to the percentage of shareholding, mm -hmm. then it means anybody at on the board has an equal vote. Okay. But there are some companies where voting rights are tied to the percentage of shareholding, where even some people are giving casting votes, means that when there's a tie, he could use his like, superior yes. voting position yes. to take a decision. Yes. I don't know what pertains with um, the board with VGM or Tata House. Can I once, <laughs> once the representations are not, uh, voting rights are not tied to representations, then it means everybody has an equal rights, depending or irrespective of the percentage of allocation of the board. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just going to explain. I think Arnold is putting two issues together. What Arnold was asking about was the voting for um, artists or nominees during VGMA and the, and the apportionment of the votes. So the board has 30% uh, voting rights in terms of uh, no, he was talking uh, about the pressure. decisions of the board. No, he, he, that's what I'm saying. He was mixing, mixing, mixing the two. two uh, issues. I'll, mix it, I'll explain it. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so there's a voting which is 30, 30, 40. 30 for the board. There's an academy which is even bigger than the board, which is made up of people from across the country in the, in the industry, which has also 30%. And then the public, which has 40%. But that's on majority of the award categories. There are some which are restricted only to the board and the academy as well, which mm -hmm. are the technical, you know, aspect of it. So that's that's how the voting Okay, so look, right. I'm actually, so it has nothing I'm to do actually with talking about that. one of the sanctions where the board has, has requested or demanded the artists to actually return their plaques and also stripping them of the awards they won that particular night. Yes, yes. And in this in this jurisdiction, the fact is in the determination of winners, it is not just the board's decision. Yes, like you said, the public has a thirty percent, a forty percent, you know, yeah, voting voted. rights in yes. determining. So your, who wins. your view is that the public should have had exactly. the majority right to decide whether or yes. not the two artists should be yes. banned. and especially when the public well, has the expended record of their words. Yes, the public should vote for that. No, for what I record. mean is, what I mean for the recall and the stripping. The public should have a say. Why not? Ooh, okay. Because we expended our, our energy, our resources in determining. So, how will the public do that? Consult through, us. Through voting? Consult us. Or through because a public forum? There's so a how, way. How, 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 do you, how do we consult it? How do you consult? Put it out. Make a referendum. Facebook? A referendum. referendum. Ah, but you, what, you, what do you figure? I say you're waiting. I know Niaite uh, Hamo has spoken that's the, that's the on, on the this. Exam, but, 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 <laughs> <laughs> see, don't let, 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 let me come in with one of these. You see, I know, you see <laughs> the awarding body has the right to recall the award. So, for instance, let's take you know, what they say about degrees. So, people go mm -hmm. through university education and they pay their semester fees, facility user fees. They are given degrees, but you hear often that because of certain actions or inactions, the degrees have it's been withdrawn. Returned. And it is because it was awarded. It wasn't as if you end it because of some particular action of yours. So anything which is awarded 
the awarding body has the authority, has the power to recall it based on what it deems fit. Lawyer. So let, let's correct. No, let's no, correct. No, 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 Marion Sharapova, uh, Marion Jones, you know, and all that. Even though they won, uh, based on, yeah, based on, on their people paid to go to the stadium to yes, watch them. Yes. No sir, and they won. Yeah, they were stream. Yeah, no, 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 no. Call to I right. disagree. The so, fact that you are there, should we stream or them they, or they not? Or they consult those who are at the stadium at that time? Yeah. No. We, no. Has the public has do, do, do the public have stake in FIFA or the IAF? I do not think so because even in our in our own entertainment circles, we've seen some before. Mm -hmm. I mean. The Grammys in, two in 1990 mm -hmm. stripped off an uh, award for Millie Vanilli mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for the fact that the, 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 lip the Grammys realized that mm -hmm. they were not the guys who were mm -hmm. actually doing the vocal, mm -hmm. so they had to strip them off. You know the reason why? Mm -hmm. Because the Grammy is made up of academy members who are I mean, taken from the industry. Mm -hmm. There's no public participation. And so when you are making decisions based on your own awards, because you have no public involvement, you don't care about the public. Mm -hmm. You understand? In 2017, I, I mean, for the guys who watch... Um, House of Cats. I mean, Kevin Spacey. He was given a lifetime award for some sexual misconduct. He was stripped of his lifetime achievement award. Mm -hmm. You know why? Because the Emmy, the Academy for the Emmys, ha has no public involvement, so mm -hmm. they do not want to consider what the, the, what public, the public thinks public. or believes in. Yes. In the VGM, the description. Boss, wait. The description of the award is, is the public domain award. Yes. The public has some stake in the award. Percentage. Especially with the determination of winners. Yes. And so. If you want to consider something that affects the public, you need to consult. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's hear from the IT. Mm. Oh, you will see that. the way. You don't want to talk. No. <laughs> you know, um, I know. Yes, sir. The award scheme mm -hmm. have terms and conditions, and so you sign to the terms and conditions. And you bind yourself with and those. And you bind yourself to be part of the awards. Now. When the nominations are out, the scheme informs the public that these are the nominations. If you have a favorite, you can decide to vote for the favorite to win a particular award. The artists to go ahead to campaign to people to help them or to support them so that they could emerge winners. Now, once you, you decide to bind yourself to the scheme, it means that you would go pair the regulations of the scheme. And so if your actions or inactions causes an affection to the scheme and the scheme takes a decision against you, it is not against the people who contributed in terms of the board, the academy, and the public. So if we, if we have any worry like it's trying to put out that worry should go to the artist for failing to abide by the terms and conditions they signed to for them to be um, to go through that kind of sanction they went through the, the board does not need to consult the public the public or the various stakeholders to take that decision that decision is taken based on the board's uh, terms and conditions with which it works with. And so once we've agreed that we are all going to be civil and you decide not to be civil, then you have, when, to, bear the you have to bear the consequences of that. I, I, I you, you, you haven't made a comment on uh, the knowledge that Shatawale and Stoneboy could go to jail. Can, can we hear what you make of that? Um, that, that, is, that is a tough one. I mean, nobody would cried out on their worst enemy or i wouldn't cry out on my worst enemy but if that is the law that is the law um, it will be unfortunate but as arnold put it sometimes things do happen for a purpose you understand me and mm. as a christian too i believe everything that happens happens for a purpose it happens for a purpose god knows why it has to happen All right and so it, it will be it will be devastating, you know, not for just them, family, fans, and fans. but that is the law. We are all under the law. I, I'm so just going through yeah. with the analogy I know you just made. Yes, sir. If the public, because mm -hmm. for instance, it is through the actions or probably inactions of Stoneboy and Shatter mm -hmm. that has caused this tripping.
Yeah. So if you are claiming that you voted for Stoneboy and mm -hmm. probably were to get some satisfaction, no, I'm coming, I'm coming, just, no, just, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, just as an example, I'm, I'm, just, just as an example, just as an example, or shatter wallet, or <laughs> And you, as 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 an individual, did that because it's your big man and you wanted him to really win it, and if <laughs> through his actions, he's lost this thing that you really expected to probably laugh with or make all sort of noise with. If you have any legal redress, it shouldn't be against organizers who have stripped the award from Stoneboy or Shutter, but it should be against the Shutter or the Stoneboy because it is through his actions. That is why he's, he, he, he's been stripped off. So if you are talking because you voted for him and you want to take the VGMA, they should have consulted you. It is not the what uh, doing. And it's a doing of your artist. So if you are saying that as a public you should be consulted, then you guys, the who I'm not sorry to personalize. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so fine. those who voted for Shatter and Stoneboy should be demanding answers from Shatter and Stoneboy. Yes, I totally get that. But I'm, I'm in, do, do, do you get that I, analogy? I, I, yes, it, yeah. makes, it makes perfect sense. Uh -huh. But I'm not even speaking for as a fan of, of, of Stoneboy and Shatter who voted for the artist to win. I'm speaking in terms of the fact that the awards consider the public as an integral part of the scheme. Yes. You understand where I'm coming yes. from? And in other examples, like the ones, the, those yes. I, I, I stated, yes. the public is not considered. It is not part of, of the mechanisms of the scheme. In this regard, we play an integral part. And so you do not take a decision, you understand, that has to do with the public and say, okay, you are the board. Meanwhile, you to the board, you have mandate. You know, your mandate when it, when it comes to... The, the argument is quite... You're overstretching this. I'm not. That's, that's <laughs> what I'm thinking. I'm not is overstretching yeah. the argument. Stripping and examples. telling them to bring the flag, that's overstretching. Yes, because you see, the point... What, what you are trying to, to, uh, to, to, to impress on all of us yes. is to say that because the public had a stake by voting, they should have been consulted. But that, shouldn't they have been No, I, I think that would be very far-fetched and overstretching this whole thing. Because you see, they are the organizers. They ask you for your input. And this is what you decided to do. And like you said, it's in categories. The public voting is giving some percentage. Yeah. A certain academy is giving some percentage. And the and board is giving some percentage. So let me ask you, yes. even in percentage wise, if, for instance, the percentage of the board and the academy is yes. greater than the public. I'm coming. Just let me, let me finish. Finish. Don't you think the public voting is in the minority? Because, for instance, what percentage did you give to the public? 40. 40. And the 60 goes with the... Academy. Academy. So one. now, even the public is a minority when it comes to the, the decision. So you can't say that because the public voted and because uh, you expected your artists to hold on to whatever, you are going to sue or they should have consulted you. I, I don't think that <laughs> is over stretching it. Lawyer, <laughs> me, I am part of the right. academy. Mm. And I'm pissed. <laughs> because I expended my fuel and wasted my time to go and sit in some room and vote it. They didn't consult me. You didn't waste your time. I did. You because did. you said somebody should, should you throw somebody off the award. You know, you didn't yeah. waste your time. I think you, I you, you, you used your time profitably <laughs> because you went there not for one person. You went you, there for you, the you scheme. Voted, you voted yeah. across yeah. board. Across board. No, but you you get me. You voted <laughs> for the scheme across board. So, your, so your, 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 I know your key disagreement is that uh, the public was not consulted. Yes, and this. even the academy. You understand? See, my issue is the board. Actually, the public, the public, was waiting on the board to make to a make a decision. We're waiting because, for the organizers. Because if, if you if you if you if you if we you listen if you listen to or if you follow this. if you follow social media or you listen to people after the event, everybody was waiting or making comment to see what the board is going to do against these two. You get me? So that the public had the trust in the board to take decisions on that will behalf. on their behalf that will befit the actions that, that were happened. taken on the night of the event and so it is it is not to say that the board cannot take that decision in fact if everybody was looking to them to take a decision and that the board took and took a very you know when you look at the 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 action on the night not only was the scheme denigrated, not only was Ghana abused, but internationally, it was a shame. In fact, after the award, what is everybody speaking about? 
it, it has a die effect. Even, you know, there are, there are concerts and things for um, um, this concert that's supposed to happen in December. Um, what's the name? The foreign uh, concert. The, Afro, 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 no, Afro the, the beach thing. The beach thing. Yeah. They can decide to take it away because there's no security. You, you, it has a, a, a severe impact. impact. Even tourism. You, you get me? Because look, the number of people. This is the year of the return. Year the of year the of the return. return. Mm -hmm. The number of people who were in there, the dignitaries, the, the British High Commissioner, we had flown in people from the UK, Mobile Awards, okay, from South MTV. Africa, from MTV Base, from the uh, US. I mean, they were dig people. And so the, the picture that was sent of Ghana demanded a very strong message to be sent. To everybody, the, the message is not necessarily about Shatter or Stone Boy. The message, message from the scheme to the industry and to the world that these kinds of things are not and should not be condoned or be seen to be uh, played with kid's glove. You need to deal with it the same way it dealt with the nation. Steve, if I could yeah. also say, okay, just yeah. to put it in perspective, that the job of the board is a bit broad. It goes beyond just voting. Uh, and Arnold knows this, so. <laughs> because the board sets out, first of all, to categorize every, um, each of the awards that we give into a certain category. So that's also a responsibility of the board. In doing that, the board doesn't ask the public that. Where should we put mm -hmm. Gringo? Where should we put... Uh, Top skanker, where should we put this and all that? The board does that on behalf of the scheme. Secondly, the board also has a responsibility to ensure that they announce the nominations. That, okay, this year we announce the nomination from this day to this day. Now you can put in your, your nominations. And when that comes, the board has a responsibility to now look through all and, and apportion. Third one also, the board now needs to approve a calendar for the VGMA for each year. So in 20. 19, for example, there was a calendar of different events that would take place. Charter House is the organizer, but they put that before the board to, to approve that. The board doesn't go to seek the public to say that this is what we've done. I, I get an also argument that in the sole area of voting, the public takes part in it. But that's because about it. That's about, that's about all that's the public. About it. That's right. That's Hello. about it. No, if you have to go, we have to go. We'll come back. <laughs> I know that we've had uh, quite a lot of uh, discussion, heated discussion on this uh, Stone Boy Shutter Wale issue, but we have a lot on our playtime. Stephen Enti, this is uh, Key Points. You can join us via WhatsApp 020 and uh, share your thoughts with us. You can post them on Facebook also. We're also live on 3FM 92.7. We'll be right back. Please stay. Thank you, Madam Hisense. Madam Hisense, me patch you here on one. You hear TV. Okay. Now, so you see, can you start? So, can be a crown. Me worry. You be now so no idea. You go now, catch up. What are you doing? Me a shop, ha. You go. They say your TV side is bia. Your sound system, any mobile phone. Your TV to say who who who. Sir. 
And you need mommy sound system need be continue. And no no no. Ya na for. Mommy I support of black stars. No mo to me ji kru we am refia. Na tie. E fit 18th May, e ko pe 19th July. Bora high sense room bia. Ya TV, ya sound system, ya mobile phone, ya titi to say who who praying. High sense. Everyday prices for everyday people. This Tuesday at KFC, Stop it. get five pieces of chicken. Stop it. What? All for only 25 Ghana cities. Stop it, I like it. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's finger licking good. This Saturday on Today's Woman. What do you think? What is your definition of confidence and how can a woman be confident? I think being confident means embracing yourself wholly for who you are, being real, being authentic. You know, that's confidence. Even in, uh, you know, amidst your flaws, you can still, you st feel free to be vulnerable. Share your story, tell your story, whether it's sad, whether it's a happy story, just tell it. Once you are yourself, people can see that. But if you fake it to keep it up, it, it will be so challenging. Confidence starts from believing in who you are, embracing your all, the good, the bad, the ugly, and just telling your truth and living it every day. Watch Today's Woman this Saturday. Today's Woman every Saturday at 11 a.m. on TV3. Brought to you by GTP. Your sanitary pad from Lexa Ghana Limited. Five women on a mission. I want to pursue this. To save their dreams. You are a lawyer. We have spent enough money to make sure of that. You always said I could be anything. Their careers. Anything I wanted. And I meant that metaphorically. I want you to come work for Do's or Do's. You are not welcome here anymore. We cannot fight for fairness and equality for fear of being tagged feminist. If you think you cannot adhere to simple directives, let me know. She has her housekeeper around. It's not as easy. So you find a solution. Their relationships. Pour que je puisse aller travailler pour ramener l'argent dont tu as besoin pour payer ces hôtels. Parce que tu penses que tu peux le faire. Parce que tu es ma femme et que tu. Et donc je n'ai plus droit à aucune opinion. Yellow Pepper, a story of romance, drama, intrigue, friendship, and great food. Yellow Pepper premieres on Saturday, 25th May, at 6 p.m. on TV3. You must always make it better than it was when you, when you got it. That was a statement by Lee Iacocca. Hi, my name is Frank Edu Jr. I am the managing director of CalBank. Join me on Monday 27th May at 6 p.m. on TV3 in time with the captains and we'll be discussing leadership, entrepreneurship and business. Time with the captains, only on TV3. Don't miss it. The call for Ghana's greatest young talents began months ago. Hundreds trooped in to the grueling audition phase to show what they've got. 26 finalists emerged to battle in sweat and in tears. The journey got heated, tough, and full of drama. Many fell on the way. And after four months of talent battle, only eight remained standing. It's the grand finale of Talented Kids Season 10. Make a date on Sunday, 2nd. June 2019 at the National Theatre. Performing artists are Talented Kids Season 9 winner Young King Clef and many more. There's going to be a family fun fair with food, games and a whole lot of excitement. Bring your family and friends and let's celebrate the best of the best. The family fun fair begins at 1pm and our world show begins at 4pm sharp. Guests must be seated by 3pm. Tickets are on sale for 10 Ghana cities at TV3 premises at the Sunway Kanda, Bachelor Total, Junction Mall, Nungwa, or call 0548-390-970 or 0204-948-992. Talented Kids, free to play. Talented Kids Season 10 is brought to you by Indomie Cowbell.
Kitty Park Drinks and Apart Macro Heaven Black Mosquito Coil and Insecticide Spray Balona GTP Dusk Capital Goldie Malaria Suspension Deluxe Paint British Columbia College RT Home Planners and Construction Vita Naturally Refreshing Sandra Ice Cream <laughs> Hello Africa, I'm here to tell you about iFactory's Making of a Mogul, a TV show profiling Africa's most intriguing entrepreneurs around the globe. I want this to be a brand that turns over business. That man who made, what, 20 million in 24 hours? I go on location with these driven entrepreneurs to find out what makes them tick and tell their story in their own words. It's a challenge, but I think I rise to the occasion. There's something that drives me to take African culture and showcase it. Even at church, people order your stuff. Yeah. You must stop speaking about our potential. Just to... Actually, I'm just getting started. I am Anita Erskine, representing the best of Africa. I Factory's Making of the Mogul shows every Saturday at 4 p.m. only on TV3. Welcome back to Key Points. I still have Francis Doku, Ania Ite Hammond, Arnold uh, Samoa Beidou, and Bernardo Radio in the studio. So we want to quickly wrap up with uh, Shatawale and Stoneboy issues. Uh, let me start to, uh, let me uh, come to you, um, Francis. Uh, there, there, there have been discussions on the effect this, is, this could have on the brand of VGMA, the brands of Shatawale and uh, Stoneboy. Do you think this is going to have a very big negative bash on the brands of everyone involved in the 20th um, edition of the VGMA, which went sour? Um, I think to some extent there's a possibility too, but I don't think that we need to uh, kid <coughs> ourselves that. Look, Shatawale is a very big musician. Stoneboy is also a big musician. I think oh, that you don't think indefinite bans would affect their brands negatively? No, I, I, I don't think it would affect them negatively. The endorsements and all of that. Oh, they could lose endorsements for appearing in court and all of that. I, I don't think so, especially in our markets. You know, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it would affect them negatively, too negatively. Uh, because they they already big. Then why ban the them if it's not going to have any effect <coughs> no, on it's, their it's, brands? It's, 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 no, but we didn't ban them to have effect on their brand. But you never know who's listening or watching. <laughs> what we did was what happened to the the scheme, the VGMA on the night, the effect it had on it, the impact it had across the country, and the impact globally as well. That's why they brought the decision. Uh, but when you talk about whether it would have negative impact on the brand, I, I think I don't think. It would, um, because you don't think all you know. I mean, I'm <laughs> no, I mean, I think this, this, this is no exact science. So yeah, this definitely, we won't be uh, sure. There's a possibility because when you're doing brand, you know, analysis, there are different things that affect your brand. Would this, you know, impact negatively? Maybe to an but I don't think that it would. It would across board. It, across it would board. Too, because in in about three years ago. Uh, also, when Shatter wasn't taking part in the VGMA, and Sakodia had issue with Shatter House, so he also said he won't appear on the night. VGMA still went. The two on. of them organized a concert that night at Collegono, big concert <laughs> to kind of take the shine. shine it away. didn't mm -hmm. knock it off. The show went on. People came to the awards, those who deserve to win one, and everything went on. So I believe that everybody should be able to do what they want to do, and uh, it's a free, it's a free country, but. The public <coughs> eventually need to decide whether, look, because Stoneboy and Shatter will not be available to perform on the night, do we go or not? That's a, an issue That's for it. the public. Right. Uh, yeah, say, on, uh, brand yeah. issues. Uh, Charter House <coughs> is, uh, is at the heart of it, and they're suggesting that you should have taken more responsibility. And all things, you failed, but you say you didn't fail. Uh, so overall, do you get a sense that this will take a shine off the brands <coughs> of uh, Charter House, of VGMA, and those of the artists? Um, not not um, take up take away the shine of the brand. I'm I'm not I'm not sure what what uh, that is and what it um, is going to do. But 
obviously uh, the incident itself having attained on the awards the 20th anniversary i mean we we cannot see uh, it's negative enough that, it's negative but you enough, don't think beyond you know, that there should, but but there beyond be that, any damages we should worry about no beyond that i don't think that there, uh, there will be any damages i mean obviously what what has happened is is is, is going to change the face of security for events you know because we've all been in the country we've all gone for various events you get me and we all have passed through various security uh, checks and all that but this would now make or, or would now allow us not just charter house but all who um, have events even including your event that is going to happen next week for example talented kids to put in different security measures than what you were planning even to do because we know that we cannot take things for granted we cannot take yes. things for granted adults well we we must admit that they failed i mean you you there must be that admittance of failure well but they then not, you improve the system they're not admitting they say that they oh put but in we drum it into their heads measures. it's important mm -hmm. that they admit because i mean Steve, I mean, if you wish that we could ban them also, right? Oh, we should also level some punitive measures on, mm. on them as events on organizers. Who? Charter House. Because, Steve, I if, if you are... the board. <laughs> oh, the board, yeah, you people, yeah, you... But, yeah, yeah, forget yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you see, if, if you're an event organizer, you have that responsibility, safety, mm. security, and health-related stuff. So if I come and I, there's an issue, you need to take that, that blame. And so for them, that admittance... I'm taking that blame, I've already done. No, you that, said you've not, not failed. No, and I'm saying you failed. I think it considered... I mean, I've listened to... I've listened to uh, <laughs> Madame Teresa Ayoade. Mm -hmm. I've listened to George Kwe. I've mm -hmm. listened to Mr. Hammond on different platforms. They the, consider... On this platform, he's not consider, they oh, consider. He said, oh, That was the first thing I did. You said you've not failed, but then no, there's some breaches. You said you've not failed. I said you've not failed. I said you've not failed. I said you've not failed. But me, I'm telling you, it was a failure. He said if there was no security put in place at all, that's what you said. See, and the analogy that you made, the fact that, oh, US, they have a tight security and I 11 have it, it means their security system failed them at the time. So as Charterhouse, as organizer, you failed us as patrons. So I admit that you failed, and then there will be improvement. <laughs> the failed, yeah, yes, underline. So, so the word fail is what you want. You will not admit. He's a board member. He's a VC member board member. How will you admit failure? Would you admit that you failed Charterhouse? We failed what? You failed the system. You, you were unable it to ensure enough security safety. safety. Hmm. Say you failed it. <laughs> no, he's not. You would, uh, but he's a board so, member. He so, uh, Mr. Radu, uh, we, <laughs> yeah. we've been going back and forth <laughs> yeah. about uh, all that has happened in in terms of future events yeah. and organizations and how to put in place orderly conduct of everything. What would you recommend? Well, first and foremost, the behavior of the artist. I mean, they should understand that they share the public space with other people and they should not allow the fans and all those things get into their heads because you see when you do that you are not the only person who's affected i'm not here yeah. is, is well he's very much affected i he's mean agitated. he's agitated very much so yeah. i mean speaking with emotions he and said all he was pissed yes <laughs> you 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 hurt your fans you hurt the organizers and you hurt the I mean, entire I, nation i was disappointed so very. and they should know that article 17 is still clear that there's equality before the law you can be shatawale you can be stoneboy. You can be a kufu. You can be a kufu adam. But you have, if you, if you should have breaches with the law, the law will deal with you, <laughs> just as it will deal with the man at Choko or the man in my village at Achimkusi. <laughs> so they are equal before the law, and they should live their life having that at the backs of their minds. And so that's the behavior of the artists. What about the organizers? Well, for me, I, 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 I saw police presence, so it means um, they actually complied with the provisions of the public order. I mean, there was police presence yes, even which, on the stage. Yes, even on the stage. So. The only thing I would add is they should ensure that um, there's enough security. Because you see, as we speak right now, those they invited, if there's anybody amongst them who felt like, okay, probably I went through this emotional hurt, yes. emotional trauma because of this particular incident that happened on stage, yes. they can take them on. Yes. For occupiers, liability, and all that. Because once you're the organizers, the safety and protection of those who patronize your program is in your hands. Thank you, Lord. You have a duty of care <laughs> towards those who come to patronize your programs. So they should have this at the back of their mind that you see, if I, I saw people being carried off on stretcher and all yes. that, those people, if they can uh, link, that whatever happening to them to whatever happened on stage 
they have they can seek redress in court. But, but I, I, I have you hold. I need to come back to you. Yeah. I mean, I'm scandalized that uh, somebody could even sneak a gun into an event of that nature. Were there no uh, metal detectors or scanners to ensure people don't carry such weapons with them? Not only guns, knives, sharp objects, and pepper spray also. What did you do at the check-in? Okay. <clears throat> to start with, I'm not part of the uh, security team. I'm in the production, technical production area. But in terms of briefing, which I, I you're, aware, you're aligning your duties now, so <laughs> yeah, no, no problem. Back, back, he's back, trying back, to escape. No, 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 he's not. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Chicken, I'm not. <laughs> in terms of the briefing, he's that trying I, to escape. I knew of uh, what the security protocol had been put in place. It included scanners. You understand? But you, you played. You, you were in a managerial role. I yeah, it included it included scanners, yeah. and and obviously, once this has happened. You can understand that, and everybody can understand. It's not rocket science that mm -hmm. there were breaches, and there are those who have also indicated that in coming into the venue they were scanned. So that means that yes, the scanners were there. <clears throat> As I said, if a breach happens, it's a breach, and you must work towards improving it. You get me? So because. We are, but we're, we're told, we are, we are we're told that with the, we're told that the musicians and their fans are not scanned. I mean, other a people lot are of them scanned. Plenty and, people. The musicians that, that, just that, go that, in. That, the, what, their that's boys what, and fan base, they just walk in. Okay, that's that, a breach. I, I, that's I, a failure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't know that because I wasn't there. <laughs> you get me when they were coming in. But um, as I was saying, let's even assume, without admitting, that they were given preferential treatment, treatment to the artists you get me it then means based on this that has happened it then means that at event grounds those preferential treatments will, be will no longer mm -hmm. be given mm -hmm. because what has happened is been abused so there's a lesson for you, you get, also obviously and i've admitted that you get me and we are not event organizing company we are not a security company so obviously <laughs> we we give out like that, that that role and responsibility to a company to handle but eventually if anything there's a breach anywhere obviously being the organizers we still have to take the blame which we have you get me but if, if the, the security that was put in place in fact for all our events that we've had that is the one this last one had the high over high 85 school. Uh, security personnel from national security police military private, private security, security. MTTD, all that, you get me? We, we try to, because there are, there are so many aspects of the security, people breaking into people's cars, people picking people, you know, so you, you try to deal with every aspect of the security, but there's been a breach, and we accept that, and henceforth, not just Charterhouse, but I believe in the whole entertainment or event organizing um, industry, security will be taken more seriously than we've been doing. Right, uh, so let me come back to Arnold. Arnold's also shaking his Arnold, I think that if I give Arnold the next 20 minutes... Oh, I wanted to give you some up. example. Okay, so give us uh, yes. one example. You see, or if, if somebody or a patron who, who, who suffered at the event takes Nia Itigo and his company to court, he will not talk about Nia Itigo. Nia Itigo, come on, sorry. To court, he will not be speaking breach matter. Let me just give you an example, then I will not talk again. In 1991, PDD, formerly known as Puff Daddy, formerly known as Didi. Change his name like Chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> Organized um, a, a, a charity basketball game. There was a stampede. Nine people lost their lives. Now, let me tell you the, the security measures that he put in place for the event. Police department had 66 officers, 30 private security officers, and the promoters himself. He hired 20 security officers. That's more than 100. Yes, though, because there was a stampede and some people lost their lives, there was a lawsuit. Oh, definitely. They can take that. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. when I go to wait, when I take oh. you on, I'll go to court, and then you tell me there was a breach. Yeah. So admit that you failed. You see, that thing. But the man has, <laughs> has, <laughs> has, <laughs> not. I has consistently said, you just don't want to. You uh, just want the word fail. You, you, you want the word fail. But Steve, you, you, see, want, you want the word fail. Yeah, but, but I'm making reference to uh, failure. But he yes. said there were breaches. So, uh, uh, but so you think it's failure. We'll leave it there. I'm asking the questions.
I don't have this. So, process. I mean, I mean, at the heart of the discussion is the event, the event yeah. itself, yeah. and where it took place. Uh, does this now bring us to the conclusion that perhaps we should be thinking about a more secured event location for such high-profile public well, events I mean, than? That the dome. That, that's a no-brainer. You know, um, one of the things that this industry has cried about most is venue Bay. for events. Mm -hmm. And I think that even in the manifesto of the uh, MPP before they won, mm -hmm. they, they said that they would build venues for, you know, events. I think one in Kumasi, one in Takwa. We're waiting for that. You know, we're waiting for that. So it is a worry for the industry that there should be a place big enough to contain people and conducive enough for the kind of production that you want to do yeah, for, for, for television you know because it does, it does appear yeah. crowded sometimes I yeah but uh, you know uh, and i think that in all these uh, discussions that we've had over the last one week there hasn't been enough uh, commendation to chatter house in the fact that they put <laughs> up they put up a dome within one week you know for the event to take place a dome that that would accommodate up to about five thousand people I mean, the alternative was the main room of the conference center, which is up to about 1,000, the maximum 2,000, you know. So in ensuring that because it's the 20th anniversary, we need to go into a place bigger than the usual place we've been for about 10 or 15 years. They put in the necessary investment to put a place like that for the anniversary event and then maybe also something for other events. And so, yes, it is worrisome that we do not as a... As a nation if you like have, have any, any such places and i think also that it's also an opportunity for i mean previously we had the the, the other dome which is on the other side yeah. which was bigger also yeah. took about up to about three thousand four thousand people but i think there were a bit of security issues with that one so it was grounded and so there's a new dome also at trade fair uh, which takes a lot more people but why some um, event organizers feel that they do not want to use that it's because of the of the height okay. because for p such a production you need a longer height you know, and all that but it's a big place for any event to take place and i mean those could be used also but the fact remains that when it comes to an auditorium for events as a country as a country we're we're lucky. Lucky. Yeah, right, yeah, I think we'll issues. have to wrap up uh, this discussion with Stoneboy. Uh, thank you very much. Francis Doku is the general manager, MG Digital and Radio. He's a board member of VGMA. Ni Aite Hamon is head of production, Charterhouse, and also a member of VGA. I didn't introduce him as head of production, Charterhouse, earlier, but uh, Arnold also is uh, Arnold is a is an entertainment analyst. I have Bernard Redu, who is a legal practitioner. He will be remaining with us as we continue the discussions, but uh, Francis, uh, Ni Aite Hamon, and Arnold will be taking leave of us as we uh, launch into the, the second discussion on our agenda.